Hi, I'm David Soper, and today I'll be going through an overview of updated Intersight licensing, including how to enable Intersight infrastructure services licensing in your Intersight account. So in Intersight, I'm starting out on the dashboard, and I see I have 10 servers in this account. And I also see that for things like the HCO, or hardware compatibility list, and for profile management, licensing is required. And I've got a link there to go to licensing. And I can also get to the licensing pages anytime I need by navigating to system and then selecting licensing. So I see that I have a usage of 10 servers and those are not licensed, just providing basic visibility. And there's a link there to the help center. So if I click that, I'll be taken out to intersight.com slash help. And here there's a lot more information on the updated Intersight infrastructure services licensing structures including how previous licenses map into the new tiers, which are just essentials and advantage, and information on server types and how those can be handled. And so down at the bottom of the screen, I see a note around M6 and earlier servers, uh, which can remain unlicensed, but M7 and higher require licensing. And I can also set essentials or advantage for all. So a lot more information out here on the licensing pages in terms of licensing requirements and then what features are provided by those different licensing tiers. So I highly recommend visiting intersight.com slash help and looking at the licensing pages. And I'll cover in a little more detail in just a second what that looks like in Intersight. So now I'll take a look at license registration. Back in Intersight, I see I have non-licensed servers. Um, there's an option here to start a trial. In this particular account, uh, I've already registered, I previously registered licensing. So I don't have that option for a trial, but you'd see that if you haven't used a trial or otherwise registered. And then under Actions, I have the ability to register smart licensing. And from here, I've got a link to Cisco Smart Software Manager. If I select that and log in, I'll see that Smart Software Manager link where I can manage license. Um, under the Inventory tab, I can select a virtual account that has licenses populated. Uh, and you want to check with uh, whoever's running licenses for you in uh, software.cisco.com. But here I've got a virtual account for Intersight. If I select that, I can look at the licensing tab to see what I have available. And I see uh, the new licensing set up with Intersight IS or infrastructure services and licenses for SAS or CVA or connected virtual appliance. Uh, AD is Advantage, ES is Essentials. Um, and I see some of those that I have in use and uh, actually being taken from older licensing but converted over to the new setup within Intersight. Now, if I click the general tab I can create a new token and this is what I'll need to copy and paste back into Intersight. Uh, so I'll set up that token and I can enter a description if needed. This ex token expires after some amount of time. Once I've created that I've got a token to copy to the clipboard, and then I can go paste that back into Intersight. Intersight will then register with Smart Licensing, and this will take a few minutes. Once registration is complete, I have the option here to enable subscription information, and I'd recommend that you normally do that. That will enable Intersight to get details from Smart Licensing, such as usage and expiration date. Uh, you can skip this and come back and enable later, but I will enable at this point. Click Next. And now I'm ready to go on to setting up license tiers within Intersight. So in Intersight, I now see the Products page, and I see Infrastructure, Service, and Cloud Orchestrator. So if I select that, this is where I can pick a default tier. And as mentioned in the pop-up, uh, new servers claimed to this account will be part of this. And right below it, I also see that I can set the default tier to all the existing servers. This would move any servers I have into that tier. Um, when I go and select an option here, again, this is covered in detail in intersight.com slash help, but I get the options for no license for M6 and earlier. Again, M7 is required, or sorry, on M7, essentials or advantages required, I can set that. And then I can also set a license tier for all servers, essentials or advantage for all servers in my Intersight account. So again, more details on intersight.com slash help, but several options here. Um, I'm going to go in and pick Advantage for All. At this point, I'm not going to set that default tier for existing servers. 
and I'll show how to do that back in the inner site table views in just a second. I'll confirm at this point and then I will get a synchronization with smart licensing and updates into my inner site account. So now I see usage on the licensing page. Uh, again, since I picked licensing for all, um, I have essentials and advantage in use. Again, I did not move all my servers into advantage, but I can do that by selecting infrastructure service in the top ribbon and going to the servers view. There on the right, you see the current license tier. So a set have been put into essentials. I can select those and now I can set the license tier and I can move those up to advantage. And this is how I can control individual servers in the account some in Advantage, some in Essentials. And if I take one last look back at my dashboard and the server's view, I now see that that HCO or Hardware Compatibility List Summary is populated, um, so showing that my licenses are now in use. Thank you, and for more information, be sure and visit intersite.com help.